some of you have heard this story before, but I grew up in South America. I grew up in uh, Panama, Venezuela. And it's just the, t the case, well, I was, uh, you know, I was very small for my age. And I was in junior high, seventh grade, sixth grade around this time. And that's around the time where, you know, boys start fighting a little more serious. You know, like a fight, a fight could be a little, a little more serious. So around seventh grade, I was, I don't know, I didn't speak the Spanish, uh, the Spanish language at the time. Um, now I do, of course. But, you know, when you're in an area um, and you look different than every other little boy and you're small and, in fact, you're, you know, your country's invading their other country, you know, uh, you're not going to have too many, too many friends. I'll get, so you might get into a lot of fights. And that's what happened to me. So uh, this is during the Panama invasion in 1989. I was just getting into so many fights just because of who I was. I was a very shy kid. I really wasn't starting fights ever. And I just always had this... this this desire to want to defend myself, you know, have the ability to do that. And when I went through puberty, you know, got older, I kind of grew faster. I, I got these big, long gorilla arms and I was really uncoordinated. But I was, I was doing wrestling, I started getting into that. And then around the age of 19, 20, right after high school, I got coordinated. I found my athletic ability. And this happens to be, I'm pretty, I'm very talented in, in wrestling and jujitsu. I'm really good at that specifically. And so a couple of the type of my past, I've just really wanted to learn how to fight and know how to defend myself with the idea, you know, of wrestling and my background from, from high school. Coupled with the idea, I did like the idea of submission. That, that appealed to me a lot more than uh, pinning someone on their back. Even though I respect it, it's a very tough sport wrestling. You know, I, don't, I didn't really feel that was, you know, what I wanted to do for so long. But the idea of making someone tap, you know, it's almost like a, like a pair of knockout and boxing. You know, having someone give a, a submission is like, that, that's, that's the finality in the art that I like to pr uh, pursue. So that's what I got into jujitsu for. Why? Why no gi? Well, the, I'll answer that in several different ways, as it deserved to be answered. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu in Japanese means the gentle art. It could also be translated as the gentle science. Maybe there's a, other couple loose uh, interpretations of the word. It's a Japanese word. Now, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the gentle art that's been changed in a very good way uh, by Elio Gracie, the Gracie family. Okay, I mean, they did a lot of good stuff and now it's being changed by other people, such as even me, I'm altering a few things and you know, everyone has their own way to, to, to use jujitsu. Everyone has a different way of doing something. Uh, it's just the way, that's why we're all built a little bit differently. We all think a little bit differently. The sport benefits us all equally, but everyone does it a little bit differently. So with that said, jujitsu doesn't mean gi. It doesn't mean no gi, it means the gentle art. So. Um, traditionally, it was uh, with a uniform, the kimono, of course, and I respect it. I like that. I love the kimono. Uh, matter of fact, that up until I got my black belt, you, you really wouldn't see me without a kimono. I would have them in my bag, it would be in my truck, it would be wherever. I would have four different types and you're washing them and you're really, it's, it's a big part of my life, the, the, the kimono. And I still like it, absolutely. The thing is, I guess politically speaking, I, I got in a point where it was my first instructor, Fabio Santos, and and I, was, I wanted to do Abu Dhabi, and, and I didn't want to get into some MMA because I, I thought that would be a, a good test for me. And so, of course, I was training for that, and I was training a little more without the kimono, a little more without the gi, and it really upset my, my professor, Fabio Sanz. He was really getting upset about it. And, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight a guy soon in a few weeks who's not gonna be wearing a kimono. So I'm trying to just emulate what I'm gonna be doing. And I wasn't, I would even go and do, do some of these grappling tournaments wearing my gi anyways, and I'd win them, just out of respect. I would, I would, I would wear it and I'd win. But the tr truth is, it is an advantage my opponent has over me by me wearing it. Because if we both have kimonos on, you are wearing my weapon, and I am wearing your weapon. That's true, absolutely it's true. And that's what makes the sport really cool. But, so, it gets, it got real political when, you know, I want to compete for Abu Dhabi and make a long story short without talking bad or good about anyone specifically, you know, I, mm, I didn't feel too welcome, uh, 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 and I left. We, we split up, me and my, my old instructor, Fabio Santos. I went down to train in Brazil. I was training with top team a lot. 
Um, Do you think there's tension between you two had some influence on your decision? Yeah, yeah, if absolutely. If that hadn't happened, would you continue training? Oh, no, I still train. I still continue training gi, but yeah, absolutely. I probably, I probably would be doing a lot more if you want. I just didn't feel welcome around. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't feel welcome around the the, the community uh, for a little while. I do now, of course, but it's just a, a time. And then, of course, I got into Pride. I won Abu Dhabi, and so now it's it's being more. You know, I'm training less gi even now, even more at that point because I won Abu Dhabi. Now I'm gonna have a super fight against Junjak Machado. With no gi and fighting in pride, no, that's no gi. And fighting super high level guys, they're not wearing a kimono. You know, they're not. They're sorry, you know that. UFC guys don't wear kimonos there. Um, you can't, it's not even allowed to wear it. Do you <laughs> think one, one is more effective than the other? Effective? I, I just I, I mentioned this right now at the seminar. Let's let's say the word technical. What's more technical? Uh, and I say I say this in every interview, and it's actually very true. I don't see how anyone can argue against it. Uh, they're more technical in different ways. I compare wrestling and judo. They're both technical, absolutely. The gi is more technical in the sense that you have many more weapons. You have, you have a thousand more chokes you can do. I can, I can take my belt and wrap it around your wrist and take my, my other side of my lapel and wrap it around your, your other wrist. And I mean, that's crazy. There's so many things you can do with, with, the, with the kimono. It's incredibly technical. But no gi, you have to be more technical in the transitions. The fact that because something might slip, I grab your leg and moves away. It, it, you move your leg away from me. I, I already have to be transitioning into the other leg already, and then grab the arm. And things slip, and it's more like A B C D E F G combinations of moves work instead of this one move or this one pass. So in that sense, it's um, it's faster. It's faster in the transition. Gi is more technical in the more things you can do. And if you get in a problem with gi, you're gonna have to pay more because it's harder to get out of a problem with gi. You know, if you're in a triangle, you're not going to slip out of it. You're going to have to get out. If you're in a triangle with no, with no gi and you're slippery, you might get lucky and slip your head out. It could happen. It's not easy, but it could happen. With, with gi, it's not going to happen. So in that way, you have to technically find a way to get out of the triangle instead of just slipping out of the triangle. That way, the gi is more technical. But um, no gi is it's faster. You have to be faster in the mind transition-wise. Um, they're both technical. I like them both. So one is not more technical than the other. They're just different.